How's it fellow adventurers? My name is Steph and welcome back to Minecraft Prominence. So there's been a lot of grinding in between episodes since episode 2 and now episode 3. Please bear with me for 5 seconds as we're going to quickly run through it. So first of all, we got a horn. <laughs> um, yeah, ignore the planks over there, the wood. There we go. So. In the last episode, we did quite a lot. Well, between, yeah, we did quite a lot. Like I said, I wanted to clear up all of that. As you can see, there's a lot of torches that we need to sort out. But yes, there's our tree farm, and I cleaned out all of this. And then there's weird random boxes, but we'll clean that up. <laughs> um, and then not just that, but I started with a foundation for a layout framework for our base. It's quite crazy. I understand it's dirt you. with um, two woods <laughs> so let's get into that so I put out a few logs and planks my thought process too dark too red rubber we need for a tech reborn birch everybody hates birch and I, I really don't know why you're more than welcome to let me know in the comments but it's too light for us right now oak who doesn't like oak and pine i'm loving the pine so we i went then i looked at which ones will fit nicely so it's currently it's pine and oak i don't like the palm that much even though we've got a lot of palm trees palm trees right there but i'm not a big fan of it we can maybe use it for a different build <coughs> Sorry, but yes, yet again, too dark, too red, even though uh, acacia isn't bad, but it's too red for my current build. Blackwood is too dark. Oak and pine is my favorite, birch and that, and then this is just what it looks like as planks. Okay, so our, so in conclusion, <laughs> our build will be pine and oak. Let's just start off with pine and we can do, um, as people would say, texturing, but we will do styling and whatever it's called with oak. All of this dirt will pretty much be um, logs, except for like these and that. All of the main structure birch, uh, dirt will be um, pine. Except for that, I literally just set out a lot of stuff. Then, after we've done quite a bit of the base, <laughs> yeah, just ignore my dirt bridge. This will be something. We will be digging down here to do some Tom storage. It's not too bad, um, the resources, but before we can do that, we will need to go to, well, we need ember pearls. But we, and we need glowstone. Glowstone, we need to go to the nether. 
and we need nether quartz for the redstone comparators so yeah that's gonna be that this is the back door and then in between I also set up um, I also terraformed a tiny bit here so we've got our path to our docks this is a top bit of the dock so we can look out like oh that's so nice maybe chuck a fishing lure in here from there it's a path down here is a nice nook where we can sit with our benches and stuff like that also look out this will not be here that's just i don't know why i put it there that's just to show that it won't go further out currently we've got a supporting structure there and there and it will be onto that and then as you can see this supporting structure will go all the way down into the ocean but this is not our main goal today and then from there we go down bloop, 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 to our docks and here it is then we will also build out a jetty stuff like that as you can see it's floating cause I just thought what's the point of putting dirt there if we're going to take it out and struggle with the water. Then we also need to put in some stairs and some shaping over here to get that done over here with the base. Ooh, what's this? Points of no return. Okay. It's interesting. Skulls, more skulls, it's winter. A soul fire. It's scary, but ah, nice and hot. So, I hope... I don't know how to do this. <laughs> I hope you are ready for this episode. Because we've got quite a bit to do. First of all, let's start with the time lapse of how I terraformed all of that. The past three to four days. Well, let's continue now with our base. We will do this later on, but this is going to be our front door. It's going to go in here on this side, and we're going to have logs and stuff like that. In hindsight, it's going to be quite difficult to get all of this into logs. I've got quite a bit of it, as well as in my backpack. Cool, so it's going to be this high for these four. And then from there, I will still figure out how we will do that. But it might be stairs. Cue another time lapse.
Okay, that is the wireframe done. Next up we're going to start with filling, but my thought with filling was to... Oh, I hate these earthworms, I don't know what to do with them. So there's still a lot of dirt, but that dirt is just placeholder for now as well. Let's just sort that out. Okay, so these logs will still... some of them will get stripped, some of them will be replaced with some oak, stuff like that, just to add some, some depth and some um, variations in... Um, they say texture, but for lack of a better word. Um, then that's our main pillar going up. This, I'm, I'm wanting to, I want to make that roof everything out of glass. This is a bit short, so I might take out this one and then leave, like remove this so we've got one level less so that it just doesn't look like you're going to bump your head the whole time. This will be floor, obviously, that's going to be floor, so we're not going to be able to enter up here with this. That will be a second level where our bed will go, stuff like that, with a nice rounded roof here. Second floor will probably, the, those walls will be glass, uh, not this, so that one and this one will be glass, let's say it's windows pretty much. Slanted roof over here, flat roof there, then Tom's storage will go, this is the main base of Tom's storage, the storage or the chest will be underneath Yeah, we will put, we can put workbenches here and stuff like that, and then in the future we can remove this, make it flat and put our um, Ad Astra spaceship and stuff here. Okay, so we're going to grab some sand over here are those snowy pillages let's not mess around with them right now oh this wind makes it feel so cold see yeah that's snowy pillages let's keep them over there off recording the days will continue oh yeah this is a multiplayer server, so all backers are more than welcome to join. I would, oops, a daisy, let's put that back, uh, back. Um, I would love it if you joined, because then we can put, you can build around there, imagine that island where you build a castle or whatever, or you can even build further out. That's not a problem as well. We need to start exploring some other time as well, but we'll get to that. We'll probably, in the next episode, we will go on a big exploration hall. I don't think this chest would be big enough. So what we can do is, where is that? Is it in here? Yes. So blank storage, chest, and that. Let's grab copper so we can blank chest upgrade over here and we get a copper let's not put that in there I'm trying to see what this does because I am not sure okay so we've got this now let's open the quest book mine some copper and use the blank uh, chest upgrade to make a copper upgrade to your chests do we do this then or how do we do this iron chest let's place it there there we go and more space do we uh, we use pickaxe now to a pickaxe to open that up now this chest is going to be nope, it's not going to be such a big pain Cool. Then let's put that there and it will start filling up sweet and obviously they will not connect so let's go we are starting to build base dig cellar for storage chests we're gonna start that now while we wait for the glass go to nether we need lava for that and then for diamond and iron hunt that will be done as we 
um, progress. Okay, so I put just put redstone here to mark off where we should start building. Okay, so I'm going to dig here as deep as possible because obviously the more chests the better. Just want to see. Okay, so it goes all the way around here, but that doesn't mean we have to stick in this area. We can go and dig here as well. So this will then just be a walkway and then we can chuck chests in here. So we're going to do double chests. Two, four, six. So it's going to be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 3, 44, 45. I think I counted right. That was difficult. <laughs> and that's just going to be in 1, 2, 3, 4 in those blocks. Then from there we'll have another chest over here. And another chest over here. Even though, yeah, we'll just have another chest here. And then our inventory um, connector will go over there. And our storage terminal will go on top of it. And then we just close it off. We'll probably change this to wood or something like that. So, not too bad. Let's go like this. Everything wood. I don't think that's enough, but it's fine. I want to put that there. Let's put one there and one there. There we go. Okay, so let's start. And he, oops, a daisy. We're gonna have a whole lot of storage, but that's the whole lot of idea. So this will then it will connect here and uh, connect there. So there, 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 or nah, like this. So it doesn't, oopsie, it doesn't matter which logs, and I don't like the palm, so we will use the palm. The only reason I don't like the palm is because it, it, it doesn't really give us much to build with, um, or, or match with. If you can help me out with which logs it will match with nicely, then please do. Cool beans. Then we're gonna fill that up here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start with these. I should have grabbed more wood. Damn it. I'm gonna do this one. And then that one when we have more wood. Yeah, okay. See, now we just take that one out. Really? Cool. And back to business. Oh crikey, okay. And now I can just do that. Sweet. Actually get more stone and put that back there. Yeah, my this is this is how my brain works. <laughs> Always all over the place. Cool. Boom, boom, boom. Put it there. And close up. Sweet. So we need actually two more so I'm going to do this one two the rest of the stone can go back in there getting a lot of glass let's rather do this but yes as soon as we've got Tom's sword as Tom's storage under the knee we can then not worry about so many chests and make it look all like all ugly and that we can have um, this like a nice living area and stuff like that let us do this open up the doorway as I mentioned and never did nice and open this can be a nice place to dig down there then go into that cave can have stairs going up you that's gonna hurt our head there we go can have stairs going up here you know what this is gonna bug my brain let's go and fix that okay 
And then we'll probably close this up. Getting some of that there. And then I was thinking instead of having... Um, oopsie. Pillars go down or something. Maybe we can have... I can't get up yet. Damn it. Oh, maybe we can have um, like... For example, ropes. Going from that point over there. From this point. Like hooking to there or something like that. I don't know if it's possible with the mods we have, but we can always try. The mill in that will try and get away from manual labor like this as well. Um, we will get that all, all automated and looking natural with water running down to the spring or something like that. Okay, well, we're back. Um, it's been a few days since I recorded the last, like, 23 minutes. Um, I did heavy editing on it because I really enjoyed that. I am in the process of thinking, should I rather do two episodes a week of 30 minutes or one episode a week of an hour-ish? So please let me know in the comments down below how it should be. So, I have cut down what we're going to do in today's episode. We have started building the base. We've dug out the cellar for storage. We still need to finish Tom's, but yeah, go to the nether might not happen today. What we're gonna have to do is make obsidian. I think I spelled that wrong, but yes, then we won't be going to the nether today cause I don't think we'll have time for that, but I moved it on to the other, to next episode. So we'll not go to the nether today we won't be gathering that netherrack for the next episode glowstone and nether quartz all for the next episode okay then we're going before we quickly gonna go let's go like this <laughs> my brain is like dude come on we're not gonna do it like that in next episode we will be finishing the base i'll talk through that now we'll go to the nether and collect the stuff for toms so I, in between the two days, three, well, I recorded this whenever. Now it's Saturday and I'm finishing this off. I thought long and hard haha, <laughs> about this. Oh, what's this? We'll go through that now. We're going to make this glass, but we need the glass blower to make beautiful glass. I have collected a lot of glass. I have done some dyes. I even made an aquarium. Not really 100% sure how that works, but we'll get to it. Look, a little aquarium. We will probably have to put fish in a bucket and put it in there, but yeah. I made some, well, glass, dye glass. I don't have enough dye to put all of it, dye all of it. But yes, um, be, 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 be. we need to make the glass blower, which is a blast furnace, easy. Bricks is just bricks, bricks is with clay, so that's easy to do. Glass and an iron ingot or whatever other ingot to make that. Then once we have that, we can reform the glass to um, other beautiful things like mosaic glass, stripped glass, stuff like that to put over here. Okay, what's this? Have this sack. Oh, there's a hot. Item frame. Have this sack. It's great for holding fishing bait. Friendly fishing ghost. Okay. Oh, I hate earthworms and grubs. Ugh, shucks. Does that mean that these are bait that we can put on a fishing rod? Thank you, fishing ghosts. I appreciate that. That's quite scary. So the plan is to... No, wrong one. <clears throat> Fly through the quest log quickly. So there's a lot of quests that you can just literally read the information and go through. 
<coughs> to finish our first prominence mod pack, we need to keep, make an anvil, get a waystone. We can make one once we've got some um, ender pearls or something like that from the nether, or we can just kill endermen on top here, and then we'll be done with that. Explorer's journal, Hello, explore, welcome to the journal where you will gather items, yada yada yada. So this is literally now when we explore around in that we can, we should go and gather Dementor's garden. Dementor has left the, her plant life scattered across the world and is gathered, uh, challenging anyone who is willing to gather them and satisfy the goddess of harvest and agriculture. So we need to do Croptopia seeds, Croptopia trees, the light crops. Poseidon has the lost of his fish for his personal aquarium, nether depth fish. Just normal, normal aquatics and thieves fish, which will give us a trident and stuff like that. Cool. Ah, yes, Captain Cornelia. Cornel, Cornelia. <coughs> uh, Grape Captain who is served in yeah, depth of the freezing ocean. One must be daring. And then this means we need to go and explore underwater. Fun cutter. This is quite cool. Captain Cornelia armor. This is a shell horn. Summons Captain Cor. Okay, can be used near water in this ice maze collectibles this is literally you gotta go around and collect a whole lot of stuff the things welcome to the things you must find things and collect them for your own benefit it's really just random stuff uh, just a bunch of discs modded discs okay the disc part here might be harder to find and they might be unique recording records and then a classic tunes yeah trinket artifacts to collect here is a whole lot umbrella cloud of bottle a whoopee cushion we need to get a brush as well and then the, once we have the brush we need to go and go and collect some stuff earth we will jump into this some other time as well where you need to read through this collect the earth globe no clue where that is exploration cool and then find oil well find a meteor then the space station the space station is a pre-built structure that creates a planet space station yada yada then we need to get iron plates, steel ingot, all of that, create a hammer, and then we go through this where we need to go and visit other places. Information about combat, it's literally just to say about the weapons of combat, hold to attack, the new things that this um, adds. Reinforge, so once we have an anvil, we can go through this. Yes, Simple Sword offer over 15 weapon types for the player to utilize. It also has the unique feature of Runics and Soul Sand. Okay, ooh, Soul Sand. Obtain a unique weapon. We've got that. Our little sword thing is a unique weapon. Smith with Runic tablets or Netherite ingots to create a gem that can be uh, stocked into unique weapons. You can go through this and get an Awakening Lich Blade, the uh, Dormant Relic, all of that. Soul's weapon. Okay, we just got soul sand because of the previous one. This is where everything starts with a single soul sand. Are you ready to fight dangerous monsters and earn your own soul equipment? Chungus emerald. <laughs> yes, you've read it. Um, it's big Chungus gathering nine of these emeralds by killing Chunguses and craft the music disc. Okay. Lunar sources. This is probably I have to go to the moonstone. Okay, I have to go to the moon and stuff. Maybe, maybe not. Back in my days. Withering Demon Egg. So these are, and then Iron Heart, more weapons. Oh, this is awesome. Lord Soul holds a, a rare form of soul thought to be extinct. Its dark but balanced color suggests the user has lived for centuries. A powerful soul of the last da uh, dragon in the end. You are not able to harness its power. Okay, but we can get its soul. Spell casting. We're gonna uh, magic. It's gonna be a uh, like a few episodes by itself. We need to create a grimoire so that we can start with the spell casting, witchcraft and rituals, book of shadows. Oh, so many things. We've got yeah, snake tongue. Cause when we were busy cleaning up there, we killed some snakes and stuff like that. Don't eat salt. The tree of death. Death. Cypress Cypling, as we tra um, travel and explore around, we'll get to this. Tree of Knowledge, the end of... So we need to remember to gather these saplings and stuff so that we can make our own farm closer. This is Transmognification Void Fragment. 
If you don't want to display an armor piece, okay, that's cool. And then the Art of Tron location. This is a, is a type of magic that allows you to change the shape of any object without altering its function. Letting you, uh, you to mask your items into another including, uh, another, including weapons and armor. Tech Reborn, this is an amazing thing. It's quite intense, but we'll get there. Like you see, Tree Sap, I already started gathering Tree Sap over yeah there's the tree um there's the tree tap thing and there's the sap this is awesome it this goes well with create as well because you can use um like presses and stuff like that compressor coal dust stuff like that which will help a lot with uh making plates and that power i've never done this i don't know what this is welcome to power generator mod used to power machinery manual power applied engineering i've seen um, and energetics. I've seen Chosen Architect use this a lot. Create, we've started. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff that we've ticked off. We still have a lot of stuff to do. Industrial Revolution. Welcome to Industrial Revolution, a tech mod that offers tools, weapons, and ways of generating resources. Machine blocks, electric furnaces, fluid inf- oh my soul, ore processing, coal generation, and then last but not least, Modern industrialization. We need to make the MI guidebook. Hello, young technician. I'm here to help guide you through the factory world of modern industrialization. It may be a bit overwhelming at first, but it won't hurt too much, right? Remember, the guidebook is very, very important in order to process, um, progress in case you're lost on what to do. Please take the time to read it then. That's that for the and play through quest log now we need to go and let's get our buckets bucket bucket no not those he has two buckets we're going to need a lot more well we don't really need to we just need to go and dig down a whole lot to get lava this lava source uh, this lava has only one source that's not gonna help what the heck is this okay um, there's more lava. Hopefully that's a lava station pit thing that we can go and check out. Oh yeah, this is the rail station that we can go down into. Hey, lanterns, yay! String and flint. That's not so important right now. Ooh, almost jumped into it and then we go to the source block and steal that and my oh that was stupid i'm sorry just ignore that i did that that was utterly stupid hey there's a dog wolf thing there we go find a meteor it is on earth finding a meteor will give us steel ingots and levels i'm not going to grab the steel ingots now soul sand blackstone maybe we get obsidian like this no we don't but block of coal oh wow we can destroy these magma blocks right yeah but doesn't <laughs> do anything when we put it in water it burns us we go in there and it gives us resources that we won't be doing right now sakura logs and then we got drakes yeah this is a really beautiful biome it makes such beautiful pink leaves blush leaves so I'm running, I'm literally running around looking for lava and I'm going to come across a lot of these things and I'll just comment when I see beautiful things otherwise I actually just keep quiet and keep to myself <laughs> okay well we're close we are at a soul's relic thing calcite I don't know what these things are. Is it just like a monument that really doesn't mean anything or what? Please let me know in the comments because I've got no freaking clue. Oh, what building is this? Oh, shucks. Disturbing the death. Is this a graveyard? What the... Oh, what sound? Oh, that's the... Oh, I'm scared. First, the fishing ghost leaving stuff at base. And now this? What? Item frame? The first omen? Day 106. 
The days have passed in a blink. The ordinary, the ordinariness of this village and its daily routine were a bless were a blessing for my tired bones. For him, it is the opposite. Each day that passes makes him more tense and quick-tempered. I think it is time to move on soon. Day 107. One of the villagers got sick this morning, and his conditions worsened. With each minute, his skin was covered in pure in purulent rashes, and his eyes started bleeding. He died within hours. We will stay for the funeral. May he find peace. That is not scary at all. Yet again, first we get to the, the ghost at our base with the fishing, the fishing ghost, and now this, the lost omen. Oh no. I hope, hopefully the server isn't, is, is, isn't, isn't haunted. The first omen, not the last. Redstone wires, what the heck is going on here? Whoa! A broken saw blade? Does it work? The broken saw has been ravaged by time, but it still does considerable damage. Night Commander's Skull. Torso Pile. What the heck? Probably the skull heads at our base. That's what's making our place haunted. So over here, I just went through the graveyard and I collected a bunch of stuff. Uh, we got a few golden stuff, a few iron, um, the redstone, amethyst shards, a few enchanting books candles, stuff like that, and the most important what we got is a netherite uh, shard, which is awesome. So it makes one less for that we have to collect later on in the game. We're still on the hunt for lava, so I need to stop exploring for crap and get to lava. It's been a 40 minute video and I'm literally just looking for lava. Okay, well, you know what? It's gonna be best if I do this. You know what? I think this is gonna be best. Let's end this episode here. I will get lava and stuff like that before the next episode so that we can build our uh, portal, our nether portal and go to the nether in that episode. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. It was really amazing to edit it, really amazing to record it and Please subscribe and like this video to motivate me even more than I already am. I'll catch you in the next video. Remember this ghost note, because we'll talk about it even more in the future. Bye bye for now.